narrowing your choices down to a single best piece of hardware is generally not an easy task. But among all the various pieces of hardware, the CPU stands as the king and main source of confusing headaches for most people. Between the i5s, HKs, Ms, and seemingly random numbers stringed together, shopping for a new CPU can get increasingly frustrating if you don't know what all of these letters and numerals mean. That's why in this video we'll be giving you a quick rundown of what every letter and number in Intel processors means. Here's the basic outline. First, there is the brand name, which in this case is always Intel Core as we don't take Intel Xeon processors into consideration. Second, we have what's known as the brand modifier. These are your i3s, i5s, and i7s. Interestingly enough, the lowercase i in this modifier doesn't actually stand for anything. It's just here because it sounds more appealing than simply 3, 5, and 7. And the 3, 5, and 7 in turn sound more impressive than a 1, 2, and 3, which kind of makes sense. Intel Core i5 certainly has more of a ring to it than Intel Core 2 would, but we digress. Next, there's a string of four numbers, the first of which is called a generation number. So for example, all 8th generation models start with an 8. The subsequent three numbers are the stock keeping unit numbers, or SKU numbers. And they're basically there to distinguish one model in a certain generation from all of the others. The reasoning here is that it's easier to keep track of numbers than names, kind of like how all the books have an ISBN. Why these specific numbers are chosen, like for example the 650 in an i7-8650, unfortunately that's not for us to know. Now all that's left are the product line suffixes. For example, these are the Ks and the Us in an i7-8700K and i7-7500U. These letter designations also tend to differ from one generation to the next. That's why we'll be covering these designations by generation and descending order, starting with the 8th generation. In the 8th generation of Intel Coffee Lake CPUs, there are only three letters to remember, K, G, and U. K means that the CPU is unlocked and that you can overclock it to get some extra performance at the cost of power consumption and more heat generation. Not all of Intel CPUs support overclocking, so if this is a feature that you want, make sure that the CPU you buy ends with a K. G, on the other hand, means that the CPU has more advanced integrated graphics than is usually the norm. At the moment, this means that it's packing specifically Radeon's Vega M GPUs. And finally, the U label means that the CPU has ultra low power consumption, and you can only find these processors in laptops as they're optimized to give you the best possible battery life. This, of course, comes at the cost of performance. One of the reasons we started in descending order is because, believe it or not, older gen CPUs have more suffixes than newer ones. The 7th gen KB Lake CPUs, for example, share the K and U designations with the 8th gen processors, but they also have some that didn't make a return appearance. These are the T, H, and Y designations. T is similar to U in that it shows that the CPU is optimized for power efficiency, but it still consumes more power than U designated models. H tells you that the CPU has more powerful graphics, but in this case these are Intel's own integrated chips that aren't as powerful as the ones found in 8th generation processors ending with a G. Additionally, HK and HQ denote that in addition to having better graphics, the CPU in question is either unlocked or that it has 4 cores. Lastly, Y is another letter indicating power consumption, only the Y designated models take this even lower than U models do. As such, they are the most power efficient CPUs, but they also have the worst performance, so they're only used for the slimmest laptops out there. As for 6th gen Skylake CPUs, you'll be happy to know that they all share the same designations with the 7th gen, except that there are no Y designated models here. And speaking of Y designated models, Intel also has a couple of CPUs that don't use lowercase i as a brand modifier, but uppercase m. The M3s, M5s, and M7s are all Y designated models made for maximum power efficiency. Again, seeing as they are Y models, they're reserved only for the most lightweight laptops like the 2017 MacBook. And that's pretty much that when it comes to Intel letter designations. If you're wondering why we didn't cover anything older than the 6th generation of Intel Core processors, 
Basically, we don't think it's advisable getting such an outdated CPU at this point. You're less likely to upgrade your CPU than your GPU, so it's good to buy a model that you aren't likely to bottleneck anytime soon. Still, if you're curious, you can learn all about Intel's old letter designations on their official page. We've left a link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to like and subscribe, or you could even click the bell icon to be the first to know when new videos get uploaded. In the meantime, may your games be fun and your losses few. And as always, we'll see you next time on Gaming Scan.